What's up creators, it's Curtis. And in this quick video, I want to show you this particular listing I came across on Etsy, this shit show supervisor mug, great gift, it's funny. So it obviously sells well. And I'm over here on Etsy Hunt looking at this. I can see that it has 6,116 cells since May 12th, 2023, which is when it was released, you can see here. So this is obviously a very popular mug. And again, I think it's because it's funny and it's giftable and it's personalizable. So you can add the customer's name or the customer can add their friend's name or whoever they're buying this for to the mug, which makes it even funnier and more personable. Anyway, with that being said, um, you can see also the, health, the sales data here right before quarter four is averaging anywhere from 40 to 60 sales a week. Now, obviously did very well during Christmas, the Christmas rush, people buying this as a gift. Now, it's, the sales are tapering off. But again, if you look at this from May 12th, over 6,000 sales. I mean, they're averaging over 20 sales a day. This is a great mug. It's easy to make. So I wanted to kind of cover this with you and just show you how you can create products like this or similar products to this in my designs in the new canvas editor and make them personalizable very quickly and very easily. So I'm gonna jump over to my designs, but first let's check out this product on Etsy. You can see again, over 1300 reviews. It, you can personalize the customer or the name here. So this is a really easy product to make. It's all text-based for the most part. So I'm gonna go over to my designs. I'm under our demo account. I'm under the funny mugs collection that I created. I'm gonna to go to the canvas editor. Now I already copy pasted this design because I created it inside ahead of time to save us time. So I'm gonna do control V to put that in here and that is not working, so give me a moment. All right, so we're back, so control V and here we go. So we have this design and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to make. So basically these are just different text boxes which you can just add text here and I'm choosing just some different fonts. Now, of course you wanna make this unique but for the sake of keeping this video quick and on point, I just used the exact same text that was on the, the first product listing we were looking at. Now, all this text, you can see these are different text box, very easy to create. This is right here is actually a shape and I just made it really small. So I basically did a shape right here like a rectangle to kind of show you how I did this. Made it really skinny, made it long and that's pretty much how I did that. Now, of course you could change the color of that if you wanted as well, but that's how I created this line. And this is really important here. This is the custom name. So the customer can put the personalization, add their personalization to this particular mug. So I wanted to show you how that works. This is really just text uh, text and different fonts that we're using. It's really easy. So with that being said, I'm gonna copy this. I'm actually gonna go to the templates. We'll use the accent mug in my designs. It has the different colored handles and inner color of the mug. So let's type that in. We'll start with the 11 ounce. I'm gonna click the actual canvas area and make it transparent. And let's readjust the size of this to make it a little bit better. And this is gonna be a double-sided print on the mug, so I'm gonna, because it's a wrap. So let's put this right here. Control C, Control V to grab the other one. That basically copy pasted it. And we'll move that over to this side. So essentially, we have our mug. Uh, so now what I need to do is just save to collection. And this is really important when you're saving. Make sure you toggle save as editable because this is a personalized design that's personalizable on our orders page in my designs when an order comes in. So let's do that. And I'll just say, um, you could do anything for the, the file name, but I'll just do that. And I'm gonna save it as a new listing. And the file slot is gonna be default. I'm actually gonna change this collection real quick to test to funny mugs. This is the one we wanna use. And now let's save that. Again, new listing, main file, PNG and save it as edible, hit create listing, and that'll create a new listing, and then we'll move over to the listings page. All right, so that is saved. So we'll go over to the menu, go to listings, and as you can see here, we got this particular design. And what's great about creating these in the canvas editor and saving them as a edible design, you have this little icon here now. So you can pull this up at any time and actually make changes to this if you like which is great because that's how it's personalizable on the orders page when it comes in too. You can make those changes based off what the customer wants on the particular mug. So with that being said, we have our design, it's personalizable, we create it in the canvas editor. The next step is to select this. So select this design here. And I'm actually gonna use Vision AI, which I absolutely love. It's a new feature of ours to write the product listing. Let's see how well it does. So we go Vision AI, choose this main file, which is our print file, and let's go choose mug. And I wanna generate everything. Now I do also wanna generate product features which it'll pen to the end of the description. So I wanna search that Ascent mug, we'll go 11 ounce. Um, even though we're gonna do both probably, we'll just sell this as 11 ounce, keep this simple. And I'm gonna click Run Vision AI. And let's see what that does. Shouldn't take too long, but basically this AI will analyze the design itself 
and write a product listing for us. You can see here. So obviously I'm gonna get rid of these quotations. We don't need that, but let's read this. Uh, shit show, supervisor mug, custom name, office humor, coffee cup, funny work gift, sarcastic manager present, novelty coworker mug. So custom name is great. One thing I'll probably do is put personalization in there. And again, you can see sometimes this doesn't get everything right. The office mug has a quotation here, so I'm gonna get rid of that and just say office mug. But everything else looks good. Bring a smile to your favorite shit show supervisor's face with this witty and humorous coffee mug. Perfect for the office. Customizable with a name. It serves it serves as an excellent gift for managers, coworkers, or friends who expertly navigate the daily workplace chaos. Not only is it a unique way to express appreciation, but it also offers a daily dose of laughter with every sip. A sturdy design ensures a durable and long-lasting addition to any desk or kitchen cabinet. So this is a great description. I'm going to get rid of this. Now let's look at product details. You can see that base default mug. It's Orca coatings, the fabrication. White ceramic mug with colored handle and interior. Uh, 11 ounce microwave safe, dishwasher safe. So everything looks really good. One thing I'd probably add to this title is, you know, personalizable mug um, or customizable or custom mug, which it has a custom name. But we'll just do, yeah, it's going to be a little too long. Maybe I'll leave it as is for the sake of keeping this video short. But this is good to go. I got my print file. I got my title description tags. I can make any changes to these if I like, but everything looks pretty good overall. Um, let's go ahead and we can generate mockups here or we could generate them during the publishing process. So I'll keep this simple and we'll just do it during publishing. So if everything's ready to go at this point, I'm going to go publish listing products and we'll choose the, uh, the dev shop here. This is our demo shop on Etsy for videos. Uh, I have my titles mapped, my description here and my tags. So everything looks good. Let's go to next step and we'll go mugs. Don't mind the images here. We're working on the optimizations of the thumbnails, so they're a little bit wonky right now. But by the time you actually go through this, you probably won't see that. But I'm looking for this Ascent Coffee Mug 11 ounce. So I'm gonna click that. Got Swift POD to uh, provide fulfillment here. So I'm gonna click this. You see it's 582 per mug. Now, of course, I want all three sizes. So I'm gonna enable all those. Let's go with a different mock-up here too. And let's check the canvas editor to make sure this is aligned right. Everything looks really good here. And one thing that's really cool about my designs is you can actually go add product if you're on a pro or pro plus plan. I'm gonna add product and go 15 ounce, find the Ascent coffee mug that's 15 ounces and add that to this listing too. So now we offer the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce. The only thing you need to do here because we're using the same print file is go click canvas and make sure this is gonna look good on the 15 ounce. I'm gonna actually move this down a bit to where it's centered. And I think that should do it. So let's hit save. I'll also generate mock up here to make sure that looks good. But as you can see here, here's the uh, colors we have with the 11 ounce. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we'll wait for the 15 ounce uh, colors to generate. Let's actually select all three of those colors. We wanna have the same colors, why not? And then we'll move on to the next step if everything looks good. Yeah, you can see here. That looks a little bit big, uh, probably because of the print file and the way it's it's designed originally for the 11 ounce mug. But what we could do, maybe make it just a bit smaller here because it actually expanded the size of it. We'll try this. And that'll readjust, that'll regenerate the mockups every time you make changes to the print file location here in the canvas editor during the publishing process. All right, and that looks a lot better, as you can see. Now, the mug mockup itself isn't warping as perfectly as it should. We're actually working on some updates to that as well so that these mockups generate more uh, realistically. But this is good enough for this example. So everything looks good here. I'm going to move to the next step. So choose prices. Now, this is uh, really important. You can see I have the 11-ounce mug right here, and I got the 15-ounce mug right here. And if you click these, you can see the print files are different for both, right? Because we made these adjustments on the uh, previous step. So I'm gonna just enter pricing for the 11 ounce mug. We'll just go with 24.98 here. Normally I run a 50% off discount. That's why it's a little bit higher. Now you don't need the necessarily need the mug here. This is the gonna this is gonna appear in the size dropdown on Etsy, and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna just go right here and hit apply. It's a lot cleaner, and honestly, you don't need 11 ounce either because that will come in the other field there. So get rid of that. So this is what it looks like, and that looks great. And I want the other one to look the exact same. So I'm gonna go just like this. 
And let's get rid of that 15 ounce and hit apply. So now you can see the 15 ounce and the 11 ounce, they both look the same. Blue, Ascent Coffee Mug, 15 ounce. Pink, Ascent Coffee Mug, 15 ounce. Come over here, Blue, Ascent, Ascent Coffee Mug, 11 ounce. And you get, it, you get the idea. So now let's go back to the 15 ounce. We need to input pricing here. We'll go a little bit higher. We'll go 28.98. We'll do 29.98. And click apply. And now that's good to go. So the last step, I'm going to go preview publish info. You can see we got the title, description, and the tags here. We got the colors as well. Now that this is really important, down here where it says personalization, you want to check this. You want to enter the personalization instructions for the buyer. So I'm just going to say enter the name you want in this mug below. And that should do. That should do. And make sure personalization is required. So once you do that, you just click publish. And that'll go over and create this particular product on Etsy. It'll appear in your drafts folder. That's really important. We don't automatically publish these for you. It creates everything for you. It's going to appear in the drafts folder on Etsy, which I'll show you shortly once this is done processing. And then from there, you can go publish it. Now when an order comes in, I'll show you what happens. But we'll wait for that to finish publishing first. All right, so that is done, as you can see with the notification. So let's go over to our Etsy shop. Go to listings. And you should see draft here. We got one in here. So let's click this. So here is the mug. Let's click into this just to review everything real quick. So you got your title. Got all the mock-ups here. And you got your description. You got the personalization instructions for the buyer. And everything else is down here. Got all the SKUs. Everything set up perfectly. So now all we have to do essentially is publish this particular product. You can always make changes to this. Like if you want to update the shipping profile, you can edit this, update the pricing, which a lot of people do, and I highly recommend it. And in this case, let's just click publish so we can see what this looks like. And let's go view that on the MD SVG shop. All right, here it is. So now you can see this particular mug. We have it live on uh, Etsy. Got some pretty good mockups. Now what I wanted to show you is the size column here. You see that we have the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce. So no matter what you choose, if I choose 11 ounce, you'll have the colors. Same thing with 15 ounce, you'll have the colors. And what's really good, so if someone chose a 15 ounce, let's say the red mug, and they put the, the personalization instructions here and they added the cart and purchased this, I'm gonna go back over to my designs. Now this is an ornament order that I have as an example. So let me go to the orders page here. And this ornament example is the same concept that will happen with these mugs. Basically, when someone purchases a personalized listing, if you create it in the Canvas editor, you save it as an editable design, then you publish it as a personalized product. When they purchase that product on Etsy, the customer, it'll come over just like this. You'll have this little personalization um, box you can check. You also can see the request from the customer here. So in this case, they say Adeline's first Christmas 2023. So let's click personalize so you can see how this will work. Again, you can see that request from the customer here too right inside the canvas editor on the orders page. So Adeline's first Christmas 2023, you can see this says Ella's first Christmas 2023. So let's go ahead and change this. That's what you do, that's how easy it is. That's what you'll be able to do if you create it in the canvas editor. Again, and save it as an edible design, then publish it as a personalized product. This is how easy it is to personalize. You just click overwrite. And we're gonna automate a lot of that in the future, but right now you just pop it up in the orders page. You can see what the customer wants. You add it, you click overwrite. And then you'll have a little preview right here that generates. You can see, you can open that up to make sure it looks good. And again, you can open the print file too if you want to double check that. Everything looks good. So if you were happy with this, you would just click approve order. And then it has a confirmation pop up. You click approve. And that will submit the order to the printer with the customer's personalization. Everything's good to go. But anyway, I wanted to show you that process from kind of the start to the end. This is with just a best selling listing on Etsy, such as that mug. Now, you can do this with so many different products, so many different ideas. There are endless ideas when it comes to print on demand. That's what's so great about it. But with this video, I just wanted to kind of show you that process quickly. If you enjoyed this, you want to see more content like this, let me know by leaving a comment below. Uh, but that's it for this video. Let's talk soon.